people you know who it is the one the only never duplicated as to the oh how is everybody doing today i hope everyone's doing good and is hopes everybody's having a great new year i would like to know how your new year is going leave it down in the comments and let's get on to the show what i'm going to review today is perfumology's clutch why do i have a sample because i have a sample let's get to the point but that's neither here nor there let's get to the how this juice smells so Basically, this was sent to me by one of my good friends, near Guy, the owner of Perfumology and the owner of Clutch. So basically, I found out he was launching out a new fragrance. He was doing a release party, but I couldn't make it. I was supposed to make it, but I couldn't. Anyway, so I told him, like, yo, uh, I would really like to smell it. And I don't know if he left me on red, but I don't know what he said. I don't remember the conversation. And... A couple days passed by and I'm coming home from work and he sent it to me. It's pretty cool. Uh, the bad thing about this, this little atomizer broke. So when I opened the package, I got to smell it. And the first notes I got it was ginger and vanilla. At first, I wasn't crazy about it. Because, you know, this is that type of fragrance you need to sit in and give it a try. But to me, I didn't give it a try at first because also it was a sample. I'm not saying I'm not being ungrateful or anything, but with samples, like with anybody, you just throw them in a box or put them somewhere. Excuse me. You put them somewhere. And as I was going on, I was reading the comments. I heard a lot of good things. And I was like, wait, oh, snap, I have it. So I go to it and I wear it one day to work and I get compliments of it. I get two. One of them, I'm walking around past my friend and I start talking to him. He's like, what do you have on? He's like, I like you. Mind you, I'm an arm's feet, I'm an arm's length away from him. And he's like, I like it. I'm like, what do you have on? I'm like, I tell him all oh, perfumologies, clutch. He's like, oh, I really like it. So then I go about my business. I'm done talking to him and I'm driving the machine. And one of my coworkers goes, another of my coworkers goes like, oh, what are you wearing? I'm like, oh, perfumology clutch. He's like, oh, what do you, um, I like it because it's smooth, it's nice. It's not really overpowering. It's really smooth, it's really nice. I'm like, wow, cool. So basically, the notes on it are basically, obviously, vanilla and ginger. And then you also get smoke, e-lime, red cedar, oak, leather, and musk. So basically, those are it other than the ginger and the vanilla. That's what you get. This is, I really do think this is a pleasant scent. Like I said, you longevity on me, I did get about a good eight, eight hours plus. It is good. It is a good fresh scent. Supposedly, this is the winter time, but I do see you could wear it spring, spring, cool summer nights. You know, not going over there. Go easy on the trigger with that. But then again, this is a safe scent. It's not really overpowering, like I said. It's a safe scent. This is going to be a dumb reach for whoever has it. Meaning a dumb reach for those of you that don't know. It's basically for those that don't want to wear fragrance or don't know what to wear. And if you see this there, this is going to be there. Boom, boom. It's going to be a dumb reach fragrance. You go out, basically your casual scent, any type of scent. This is basically, I see this for a casual night out, or when you're hanging out, when you're just out there with your boys. Not a partying scent. Really nice, smooth scent, like I said. It's really nice. I do recommend it. If you ever at the King of Persia's Mall, go stop by Perfumology and smell it yourself. Get your sample. You will do an injustice if you don't smell it. I'm not saying this because he's near, near send it to me. These are all the thoughts about myself. Like I said, you get the compliments. You get longevity. What else could you ask for in a fragrance? It's a sweet, not too sweet to the point where, oh my God, it is a unisex fragrance. To me, I really do like it. I would have to give this more wear and tear, but I do recommend it to anybody who likes vanilla and ginger. The vanilla and ginger, no, pff, smells good. It really does well. It's well blended. It's really an art form. And the story behind it is really cool. I will leave the story down in the description box. 
for those of you who want to read it and pretty much that's all i really have to say like i said it's really try to keep it short sweet and to the point try to keep it short sweet and to the point like i said basically it's really good you would do an injustice if you don't try it out like i said try every fragrance don't go by the us fragrance reviewers say you should try it every fragrance and like i always say wear what you want buy what you want and remember, just because it's niche doesn't mean it's always good. And just because it's designer doesn't mean it's always bad. I will see you next time. And if I don't, it's because you're not subscribed. Peace, somebody.